are you? I hope that you have had a lovely weekend uh, and that we are on the countdown. We have one more week and then we will all be back together face to face again. Uh, so here we are. Um, I'm sending through your pre-recorded lesson for this week. I do apologize for the way that this is going. Uh, my internet just will not hold and will not stay in a um, in a meeting at the moment. So this is the easiest way for you to have your lesson um, and do some drama stuff while we're away and then we're going to get back to normal uh, next week. So let's go. All right, so the letters that we'll be uh, working on this week are J, K and L and uh, the sounds that we're going to do is our regular warm-up sounds, some tongue twisters, a poem and that will be it. So let's get started on our up. sound for the letter J. So the sound is J uh, with a J sort of smiley face there and J for five. J, 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 J. The next one is a J, J sound. We wanna hear that U-H sound there. So let's try a J, 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 K, 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 and a K, 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 K. And the last sound is L. L, 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 and a L, 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 L. Okay, now we're going to cross over to do some tongue twisters. <laughs> It's time for another tongue twister and when I say one I mean three and we are actually on J, K and L today so I will have the actual written uh, tongue twister below in the description so you can give them a try yourself they're a little bit fun if you feel like wearing a hat too while you're doing them please feel free to do so so we're gonna start off with J <clears throat> Jack and John jogged joyously along in Joan Jorby's jalopy. Pretty good. Okay. Kate kept the kittens in a kennel in the kitchen. I don't recommend that. That is my cat's causing chaos. That's a bit of a tongue twister too. L. <clears throat> Little Lily licked her lips, laughed loudly, and looked at the luscious lollies. And lastly, we have The Ballad of the Waterbed, a wonderful poem about some pirates. So feel free to put on your best pirate face and your best pirate accent that you possibly can. Enjoy! Arr. The Ballad of the Waterbed by Matthew Henry I'll tell you a tale, a spanking yarn, and one to turn your head, of a boy's delight how he sailed each night on his wonderful waterbed. A waterbed is a magical thing, but not for the timid soul. It will plunge and lift as the dreamers drift while the bedroom billows roll. So he sailed away to a sandy cay, to a pirate savage lair, where the gun-lined hulls blew their crossbone skulls and gun smoke filled the air. He set his sheets for the plundering fleets where the victims screamed and bled, and the captain paled for none outsailed that scurvy water bed. Fierce Captain Kidd had dipped his lid, and Blackbeard cried, it's daft, I've never seen in the Caribbean the likes of this here craft. With a swig of rum for his parrot chum, how long John Silver roared? But he quickly sank from a salt-stained plank when he tried to climb aboard. So the boy came back when the tide grew slack to the morning clear and bright. As he woke, he said to the waterbed, we'll sail again tonight. So woe to the land lovers left behind, no treasure or diamond rings, but high and dry with a jealous sigh on their dull old inner springs. But I'll tell you this, where the bow waves hiss, where the midnight stroke has gone. Don't risk your neck on a waterbed deck and keep your life belt on. 
Okay, girls, have a great week. I will be seeing you very, very soon. I cannot wait. Um, we can get back and get started back into drama. Have a great week. Bye. Yeah.